Hey guys, it's your favorite food expert and I'm back again with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Today, I'm going to show you another way to create okra soup, a very popular soup that is quite easy to make and is packed with lots and lots of flavors. <laughs> There's so many ways to create a recipe. There are no rules and regulations in the kitchen. You just do you, and as long as your taste buds can take it, it is totally fine, right? Good. Today, I'm gonna to show you another yummy way to create okra soup. I already have an okra soup recipe on this channel. I'm gonna put the link in the description box down below just in case you want to see how I made that one. But I'm sharing an updated version of that particular recipe because you know I'm all about making my meals speedy and more flavorful. I'm definitely sure that you're going to enjoy learning how this is made. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please kindly go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell just right beside you so you can get this notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you like this video after watching it, which I'm definitely sure you are going to like, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And for those of you who haven't joined our mailing list yet, we have so many valuable stuff to offer you guys this year. And our first point of contact will be those on our mailing list. So you definitely will want to join our mailing list so that you can you'll be the first to be notified when we launch our new site and release all of the products that we have for you guys. And of course, I send out weekly messages to all of those on my mailing list. We've been having an amazing time. Those of you on the mailing list already know the warm, beautiful messages that we've been sending back and forth has been just so, so, so refreshing and amazing. And I'm so excited about it. So hurry now and join. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below. So you can just click on it and hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free of charge. All right, guys. So let's get right into this cooking action. We will begin by blending half of the okras we'll be using for this soup. Blending the okra will serve as the slimy base for the soup and give the soup a perfect drawy consistency. To blend, chop the okras into big bits, transfer to a blender, add some water to make the blending process easier and then blend till a slimy puree is formed. Next, move over to the stove top and add some palm oil into a pot heating up on medium heat. Afterwards, add some chopped onions and sauté for 30 seconds. Next, add some ground crayfish and seasoning cubes and stir again to combine and allow to fry another 30 seconds. Then pour the tomato pepper blend mix into the pot. In this mix, I have some fresh tomatoes, some red chili peppers, also known as tatashi, some scotch bonnet peppers, also known as atarodo, lots of onions and a few cloves of garlic. Stir to combine again, cover the pot and allow to fry till dry, about 8 to 10 minutes. Afterwards, transfer blended okra into the pot and stir till okras are completely mixed with the sauce. Add some meat stock to loosen it up, then season with some okwei, which is a local seasoning and is totally optional. I'm also using some ground Cameroon pepper, but you can use any ground pepper you have available. And finally, just sprinkle some salt. Stir to combine thoroughly, then add the fully cooked meat into the pot alongside some smoked and stockfish. Stir again to combine. You guys, look at how slimy the soup is already. Just the way I like it. Cover the pot and allow to cook for a further three to four minutes. Oh, this soup looks good, just as is, but we aren't done yet. To take it up a notch, add some chopped okra into the pot for some pop of color and extra crunch. Stir to combine thoroughly. Now this soup looks so, so good. And the aroma, you guys, is heavenly. <laughs> Finally, add some shredded vegetables. Give it one final stir and take off the heat immediately. After watching this video, guys, make sure you don't cook your okra soup any other way, okay? Okay. So we are done with this luscious pot of okra soup. Looks super yum and so gorgeous. You can actually pass for a good soup because it's so dry. Thanks to the blending of the okra. In my okra soup video tutorial, I think I uploaded it about three weeks ago. Um, I had some people in the comment section argue with me and say that it was the other. It was the okra I used that made my okra draw. That's not true. The okra was already so dry before I added the okra. And the amount of okra I even added is not enough to make the soup draw like that. Plus, the okra wasn't blended. The okra was chopped. So it wasn't enough to make the soup um, draw. 
But I, I understand because I saw, also saw, saw some comments and I understand the fact that maybe sometimes you might get Ogono that's never that's is not potent. I have not experienced that before. All the Ogono that I have used to cook since I say cooking Ogono soup has always drawn perfectly. But it may be, maybe let's just say, peradventure, you end up with Ogono that doesn't draw. What you can do is um, get your okra and use this um, method. Blend the okra in the um, in the blender, and then just add it to your okra. And your soup is going to draw, right? It's the drawing effect you want, right? Just do that, and you have your soup drawing again. That's just a tip. I think might help you solve your okra not drawing di <laughs> dilemma. Okay? Yeah. So this is what my okra soup looks like, and this is how I've been cooking okra soup for some time now. I'm just going to scoop this into a small plate. I don't have any ever, but I still have to do the taste test anyways. So I'm just gonna scoop, oh, I love the luscious color, the luscious green color of the okra. And I actually also love the fact that the okra is still very vibrant and crunchy. It's, it just, it just smells perfection here, right guys? Perfection. All right. And funny thing is, for those who are watching their weight, you can actually just make your soup like this. And you feel full and you feel fine, I promise. Mm. Okra is so crunchy. I just know how I like it. If you don't like your okra crunchy, what you can do is I just allow it to cook for a few more minutes. But that will make it not so enjoyable. Yeah, so anyways, one more spoon. That's it guys, easypeasy.com.ng <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this updated okra soup recipe and I hope you'll be making it with your family and friends. If you will be recreating it, please kindly take pictures and tag us on Instagram and your Facebook stories so that we can share on our Instagram and Facebook stories as well for the world to see. I always love to see your recreations. I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering delicious tantalizing sweet recipe until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and I love you all so, so much. Take care.